So I'm working on this trolling motor. It's a cheaper Chinese kind. It's called the water snake. And to get it out of the rusts up because the water gets in there. And uh, what I've done is take everything off. Use a wood block. Just pop it out. And it's held in with magnets. So you really got to, once you get it loose, there you go. Now we're going to clean this up with a wire brush on the wheel. <clears throat> and clean all of this out too. Uh, some scotch bright and start to clean up the contact thing where the brushes go and that's where one of the brushes was just stopped right there for a while we'll finally go to we'll go to 400 and 600 and shine it right up So I ended up using the wire, the brass wheel, and uh, then 600 came out pretty good. So I put the housing into this box. I put a little um, indent for the for the shaft kind of thing, and uh, put a bunch of uh, towels in. And I'm just spraying it down. This is where the magnets are, and there's a bunch of rust in there. I'm using Awesome. Totally awesome. It seems to be doing a pretty good job. You can see that stuff coming right off of there. I'll let that soak for a little while. So when I reassemble everything uh, on all the seals, I'm going to use a uh, plumber's faucet and valve grease. Uh, it resists high temperatures and it's waterproof. I use it all the time, you know, in plumbing uses. And I think this is a plumbing issue. Uh, since it's underwater all the time and obviously water's getting inside and rusting everything so I've got this pretty well cleaned out best of my ability and what I ended up using was a lot of this purple power just dousing it and uh, got the back cleaned out pretty good yeah, there's a little rust in there but I'm not worried about it um, this is pretty clean and I use this box just so I can, I'm spraying so much of this degreaser in there and using uh, using these uh, brass brush and a nylon brush right over here. Get that out of the way. So now we are pretty much, there's a little bit of residual stuff I got to get out of there, but we use a um, air gun, or, you know, the high pressured air and blow this thing out really good and uh, we'll start to put it back together. Now, one thing that I'm wondering about is I probably should get something to coat on these. Um, we're going to run these as tests and see what happens. Uh, and if I have to clean them up again, I have to clean them up again. That's all there is to it. So, in the beginning, you want to put marks on these, um, both ends, all the, and onto the these parts so they line up. You get that 
straight on again. So what we're going to do here is this is the way it goes in. And I'm going to use a little bit of this Sil Glide grease for for this back bushing area. So this goes in here like this. Whoa. That, that magnet will pull it right in. And on the outside here, we're going to use some of the plumber's grease. We'll put a nice coating on there. There is an O-ring in there. I should have taken, maybe I should have taken it out, but I'm not. It'll be fine. Pretty sure. There we go with that. This could be a little difficult. <clears throat> Got a little O ring right there. I don't want to lose those, man. And one of my springs fell into the bottom there. A... Shit, now I don't know where this washer goes. Wonderful. I think it goes on here somehow, but it's wavy. It compresses against the uh, <clears throat> so we got a spring here we lost the other one it fell in Actually, what I think I need to do is get these in here, clean up the ends of that a little bit. So that's 600. There's some 320. Got a piece right here. Just uh, there's too much shit on there. There's too much stuff on there. Keep that curve to the to the brush of the rotor.
All right. <clears throat> I think what I got to do is pull this back out. Jeez. And where are the springs? I lost them again. There's one. Oh no. Oh jeez. Did anybody see where they went? Damn it. I gotta find those. I gotta find the other one. Alright. The other one is still in here. So I'm gonna put on a little bit of grease on this thing. On this shaft right here. And I'm going to assemble this right now before I put that in there. Okay, it's pretty close. <clears throat> It's a little tricky. I don't want to get grease on those, so I'll get this in. Come on. Nah. All right, it's time for a tool. I've got these little dental tools. So pull this back. That's what we want right there. So at this point, we know the wires are going up through this housing right here. We'll flip this around and turn it to where the mark is. We've got it marked right here, marked right here. Get this back into position. And I do want to put some sealant on that. out here oh, trying to save this shirt actually wasn't planning on <clears throat> working on this and all of a sudden I was like yeah we gotta get this done that time of year it's spring everyone's wants to get out in the water again the boats are getting pretty much ready so I think it's gonna want to pull this right off of here so it's hang on um, nope I feed these wires in first I'm gonna check them make sure they're in pretty decent condition <clears throat> Get all of them in. There's four wires. 
I don't really see which one's not going through. We got blue, red, and need black. Where's our black wire? <clears throat> put this underneath of the rest of them uh, there's silicone in here that's why darn it I gotta remove that there's something in there a rag or something let's get this dental tool let's get this thing out of here that was in there. <clears throat> Looks like a little mouse nest or something. All right. <clears throat> we got the wires lined up, ready to go in here. We don't want to lose this. <clears throat> This is lined up like that to give me a better shot to get any of these bolts in. And there's little seals on this. There's these right here. And once we do that, we're pretty much we're pretty much done. Uh, put a little grease on these. I'll put that on. Let's see, this goes like this. It's the seal goes first, and then that. Put a little grease on that. I think it's leaking through these. So, there we go. That one's back on. There's that. I think it's threading in. Yep. And this one's already got the seal in there. I'm just threading it through the seal, kind of. I put some grease on that. Feels like it's threading in, maybe, maybe not. Let's go grab a socket. 10 millimeter, I think it is. No, it's eight millimeter. something I think so maybe maybe not yeah we do we got it this has to stay lined up though right like that <clears throat> I hear a little bit of thunder in the distance. Is that threading? I hope so. Yeah. Thank you. 
No. Yeah, it feels like it. There's that. Okay. This is off just a little bit. It should be tightened. Now, the person that owns these motors took another one apart for me to rebuild and he didn't mark these, so it's gonna be a lot of fun. Hopefully it works out pretty good. So on the end, I'm gonna put a pack of little grease in here. got this don't want to lose this little piece God. so I put tape on it <clears throat> now it's holding me up a little bit but greasy I should have a knife or a razor right here but I don't I could walk in the other room and get one but we're making a video so <clears throat> we gotta get this done this goes through this pin goes through here then we put on our, our blade let's make sure this is kind of like that And, and this just screws on the end. Now before this wouldn't this wouldn't motor would not turn, obviously. Now we've got it turning. And we're going to get up get some power over here and test it out. Okay, so I don't have a battery out here, so I hooked it up to a charger. <clears throat> and we're gonna plug it in. See which, I gotta unplug this. Here we go. This is the moment of truth. There we go. It's a nice fan. We have one of these for, uh, Summertime, it's gonna get hot. One down, one more to go. I've already built one before this one. A rebuild. This is adjustable speed. I just got it on the basic positive and negative wires. Cool. Thanks for watching. Hope this helps. Help everybody out out there. You have to service one of these cheaper uh, type of trolling motors. They can keep going for a little bit longer. Oh, we're getting close to turning it off. Later, YouTube.